to the house of God. It is good to be in the house of the Lord. We also welcome those who are following along in our live stream this morning as well, as well as those who will also be following later today and uh, through the week on computer. Amen. We had a wonderful, fantastic time with our district superintendent and our Zoom church conference this week. It was a wonderful time in the Lord. Amen. We also had a, a wonderful day of fasting and prayer and a wonderful Zoom prayer meeting as well. In your bulletin, you can see where we have a day of fasting and prayer in November and a day of fasting and prayer also in December with evening Zoom prayer meetings. Amen. It's good to talk with the Lord. In fact, our message today, I just can't wait to share it. Uh, amen. But uh, we have our uh, Bible study with Epworth United Methodist Church, our Zoom uh, Bible study this Wednesday night. We have our men's class meeting. Thursday morning at 6 a.m. We uh, church conference booklets are available in the narthex and it has the whole agenda, everything we did this past Wednesday night. The church conference is an opportunity to celebrate the year past and to look forward uh, to the year ahead. We look forward for God doing great things for us with the Good Neighbor Outreach to the homeless. Our uh, continuing with our uh, online, uh, uh, continuing with uh, doing new things online, and, as well as uh, showing care to one another. Those were our goals for the upcoming year. Amen. Amen. Um, amen. Shifting to prayer concerns, we continue to pray for the family of 22 year old. Mitchell Drissel, tragic loss of life. Uh, pray for all of that COVID-19, God's guidance and protection. Continue to pray for John and Shirley Ferris, John's at home, for God's continued strength, for Pam Gleason, recovery from knee replacement at home. Uh, also for Dick Gaiman, continues uh, to recover, doing well at home. Amen. My daughter shaking her head. Amen. Good stuff. Also, uh, Carol Wingen, Carol Ringenwald went to be with the Lord. Her homegoing service is this Saturday, 11 o'clock a.m. at the Haddonfield United Methodist Church. Amen. Uh, we continue to pray for Naomi Horn, Shirley, and Joe Riker. It's great. Joe, wave your hands. It's good to have you here in the house of the Lord. <coughs> Mike Willett continuing prayers. Pat and Joe Peach. Pat continues in Harmony Village for uh, Barry Davies, continuing prayers. Peggy and Mary Reed, Sweet and Rich, great that they're here with us this morning. Russ and Archie Brown, Tom Gershie, Grace Slaughterback from Hospice at Home. We continue to pray for our nation. And, uh, you know, our nation is sick right now. Two leaders of Congress hugged each other, and there are people who didn't like it. Shame on them. Amen? Amen. Civility is always in season. Help us, Jesus. Uh, we pray for the Church of Jesus Christ, Asbury United Methodist Church, and Good Neighbor Outreach. And also, I had very serious unspoken needs. I changed that this week. Extremely serious, unspoken needs. There are things going on that we need the Lord. And it's good when you know that you know that you need the Lord. Many just very, very serious needs. We appreciate you continuing to exercise care using masks, completely covering your mouth and nose, physical distancing. We appreciate you taking this very, very, very serious. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. I'm sure I missed something. Does anybody need a shout out for anything that I might have missed? Let's come before the Lord in an attitude of prayer. And Nancy's going to play something beautiful. Amen. <laughs>
Lord Jesus Christ, we love you. Lord, I have one main prayer request. Meet with us in a special way this morning, or online where people are, or even later when they're looking this up on computer, Lord. I also ask if you have a special need, right now our heads are bowed, our eyes are closed, just raise your hand. Whether that need be of body, of mind, of spirit, or relationship. Just raise your hand. And Lord, for those whose hands are raised, while on others thou art calling, do not pass us by. Again, whether the need be of body, of mind, of spirit, or of relationship. We thank you, Lord. We also thank you for Moses' example this morning in Scripture. Man, this guy walk with you. You know something? But he never stopped seeking you and, and, and going after you and wanting to be with you. Never stop learning more. And we thank you for his example, which we're going to learn more about a little later this morning in our worship. Right now in the silence, we just seek to be quiet before you, Lord. And ask for anything in the deep silence within our souls for what we need help for. We lift up our eyes under the hills for whence cometh our help. Our help comes from you, Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Lord, your word says in you we live and move and have our being. May that be true in each of our lives. I ask if anyone here does not know you as their Lord and Savior, anyone watching online right now or anyone watching later on computer, your word says that today is the day of salvation. For those of us who have already made that decision to accept you as our Savior and Lord, May that decision today be a new and a fresh to seek you more than anything else. It is in your name we pray. For every name that's been mentioned this morning, for, for Dick and Nancy, John and Shirley, for Pam, for Naomi, for Shirley and Joe, for Mike and Lisa, Pat and Joe, Barry, Peg and Ray, Sweet and rich, Russ and Archie, Tom and Grace, for our nation, for the Church of Jesus Christ, for Asbury, for Bishop John Scholl, his wife, Beverly, for our district superintendent, Hector, his wife, Giselle, for myself and Gwen. We ask in your name, just your, your, your blessing and your favor. For extremely serious, unspoken needs, Lord, we ask for your for your mercy and your grace. We love you, we need you. We love you, Lord. Jesus. Have your hand on us. Again, Lord, we pray for our nation. We pray for our church. We love you, we need you, God. for our upcoming election. We love you, Jesus. Help us to pay attention this morning to your word. Help us to pay attention to the relationship that Moses had with you. Help us to pay attention more to the relationship that each of us can have with you as well. In your name we pray as you have taught us, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory We continue to worship God with our giving. We thank those who 